Welcome everyone to the program. We kick off this noon with report just reaching us that the Nigerian Senate has constituted its principal officers for the ninth Senate. The Senate President, Senator Ahmed Lawan, read out the names of the principal officers as follows. The Senate President, uh, starting with the Senator Abdullah Yahya, Majority Leader, Senator Borofei Sajai, Deputy Majority Leader, Senator Oji Zokalo as the Chief Whip, and Abdullah Sabi, Senator, as the Deputy Chief Whip. The list submitted by the People's Democratic Party caucus was also adopted, which has Senator Einaya Baribe as the Minority Leader, Senator Emmanuel Bwacha as the Deputy Minority Leader, Senator Philip Aduda as the Minority Whip, and Senator Sahibi Yao as Deputy Minority Whip. The Senate also constituted an ad hoc committee to prepare its legislative agenda within two weeks. Well, let's take us to our correspondent at the House of Representatives, the Green Chamber, Lyra Lassisi. He tells us more about uh, those. Good morning. And yes, the House of Representatives has resumed. In fact, the two chambers have resumed a plenary this morning, new lawmakers, and um, they're getting seated in the House of Reps. A lot of them are going around trying to find their seats. You remember there was a, a two weeks given for re of recess to enable the lawmakers uh, put some things in order, like setting out seating arrangements and office accommodation. We understand that has been done, and the lawmakers are getting there, trying to locate their seats and understand where they will be sitting for the next four years. And the order paper is out. We have um, uh, five bills to be presented for first reading and uh, a committee meeting. Interestingly, the committee meeting is for uh, uh, an ad hoc committee on the review of the standing orders of the House. So that appears that will be the first committee that will be sitting in the Ninth Assembly. But very interestingly, we're looking forward to the release of names of the principal officers from the two parties, the uh, majority uh, party, ruling party, and the other minority parties. That, I assume, will form a very crucial part of today's plenary sitting, and we'll be looking forward to that as it comes. We'll get back to you. All right, many thanks, Larry Lassisi at the Green Chambers with an update on those appointments. In the meantime, the outcome of the 2019 general election has continued to elicit different varied reactions from stakeholders in the nation's transition process. Today, the Independent National Electoral Commission embarked on another consultative meeting with a bid to achieving better narrative in future elections. ANEC will be having extensive consultations with international local election observers, inter-party advisory council, IPAC, and other relevant stakeholders. These stakeholders are expected to harmonize the different draft recommendations and report with a view to adopting a more effective template for future elections.